Good morning. In this video, we are going to solve a problem in mass moment of inertia. In my last video, I discussed about the mass moment of inertia and radius of gyration and the formula table for various objects. And I have given the link of that video in the description. Those who have not seen that video, kindly go through that one. Now let us go to the problem. Find the mass moment of inertia of the following composite object as per a axis and b b axis so here is the composite object and given material is aluminium okay and the density is 2700 kg per meter cube now here is the composite object there is a rectangular plate in the middle and there are two cylinders on both sides of the rectangular plate one is at the bottom and another one is at the top now uh, this is the a a axis which is uh, passing exactly at the uh, center of gravity of the rectangular plate and BB axis, axis is passing at the bottom of the rectangular plate now the first step is you have to divide the composite object and you have to find the masses for uh, every object there are three uh, objects first one is a rectangular plate and this is cylinder 1 and this is cylinder 2 so you have to divide this object into three sub objects and then you have to find the masses for uh, individual objects so let me take the first object cylinder 1 and we know that uh, mass can be found as the multiplication of uh, volume into density so first I am going to find the volume of the cylinder we know the formula it is by d square divided by 4 into L ok now let us go to the uh, dimensions of the cylinder ok so here are the dimensions the diameter is 1 meter and length is 2 meter and substitute over here in this formula you will get the answer as 1.57 meter cube now the next one is uh, mass equal to density into volume and the density is given in the uh, problem yes here it is given rho equal to 2700 kg per meter cube now substitute and uh, multiply uh, with volume you will get the mass ok now the mass equal to 4239 kg now the second object is a rectangular plate now let us go and see the dimension for it now the dimension is and length equal to 5 meter width equal to 4 meter thickness equal to 1 meter we know the volume it is lbh and substitute the values you get the answer as 20 meter cube and now you can get the mass which is nothing but multiplication of rho into volume and you get the final answer as 54,000 kg now repeat the same for the cylinder 2 and having the volume V3 again the same for plug and the dimension is also same if you substitute you will get the answer as 1.57 meter cube and M3 also again multiplication of rho into volume and you get the answer as 4000 239 kg so now the second step is finding the mass moment of inertia about uh, a a axis and uh, here is the a moment of inertia about a a axis which is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 here i1 i2 i3 are the moment of inertia about the individual sections we have to find them individually then we have to add it now first object is the cylinder 1 so mass moment of inertia of the cylinder 1 i1 equal to ig plus m1 into d square ok here i have used parallel axis theorem now let us go and see why the parallel axis theorem is being used here now this is the given composite section here is the object one cylinder one ok they have asked us to find the moment of inertia with respect to this axis but we know the moment of inertia about this axis that is the axis passing through the center of gravity of this cylinder so we need to use uh, parallel axis theorem to find the moment of inertia with respect to this axis now uh, i1 equal to ig here ig is nothing but the mass moment of inertia about the cylinder okay in uh, in perpendicular axis plus m1 it is mass of the cylinder 1 and d it is the distance between the axis a a and the ax and the axis passing through the center of gravity now let us go and check the formula of ig so this is the formula for then it is called cylinder Okay, this is the axis r and about which the mass moment of inertia is half m r square 
m is nothing but mass of this one and r is nothing but the radius of this cylinder and uh, substitute the values and simplify the equation you will get something like this m1 uh, 4239 and here nothing but the radius is 0 0.5 and the distance is 1.5 1.5 and substitute and calculate the value you will get the answer as uh, 10067.625 kg meter square now let us uh, go to the second object rectangular plate i2 equal to ig here i have not used any parallel axis there the reason is if i see here the this is the axis of a a which is passing through the center of gravity of this rectangular plate so there is no need to use the parallel axis th theorem here and the corresponding uh, formula is so this is the rectangular plate having width b and height a here is the formula 1 by 12 m into a square plus b square now i am going to use this formula in solving the rectangular plate now this is the formula 1 by 12 m to mass of the rectangular plate a square in a square plus b square now in the place of a substitute uh, 5 and 4 okay now let us go and check how the 5 and 4 has come if you look at this rectangular plate there are three dimensions 5 meter 4 meter and 1 meter but in fact 1 meter is uh, thickness of this rectangular plate moreover it is parallel to this a axis okay so but we have to find uh, the dimension which are perpendicular to this a so 5 should be taken and 4 should be taken this can be taken a and this can be taken as b now substitute the values you'll get the answer as 1 lakhs 84 1500 kg meter square now the third object is again cylinder 2 and here is the formula but here i have used the parallel axis theorem uh, the reason is similar to the cylinder 1 okay uh, okay let us go and in the composite section now so this is the cylinder 2 okay which is being located uh, by the same distance as like the cylinder 1 okay so i need to use the parallel axis theorem to find the moment of finish of this cylinder and this is the formula and this is simplification of this formula substitute the values and in the place of r substitute 0 0.5 meter and in the place of d substitute 1.5 meter let us check where the 1.5 meter come if you see here in this composite section this is the axis passing through the center of the cylinder and this is the a axis now we, the distance between these two axes is 1.5 meter now substitute all the values finally you will get the answer as 10067.5 six to five kg meter square now the mass moment of initia about a axis is equal to the summation of i1 plus i2 plus i3 and here is the final answer two lakhs for and four thousand six three five point two five kg meter square now the step three is the mass moment of initia about the axis bb now let us go to the composite section again now this is the uh, axis bb which is uh, passing at the bottom of the rectangular plate and i know the moment of initia about this axis a a and I, if you want to find the moment of initia about this axis i can go for parallel axis theorem okay when i use parallel axis theorem i need to know the distance between these two axes okay if i take this one this side it is 5 meter height and exactly at half of this one we have the uh, a a axis so the distance between these two is nothing but half of this 5 meter which is equal to 2.5 meter so here is the formula moment of finish about bb axis is equal to moment of finish about a axis plus m into d square where m is nothing but mass of the composite objects it's nothing but the summation of all the three m1 plus m2 plus m3 and as i said the distance should be 2.5 meter substitute everything you will get the, the final answer as uh, 5 lakhs 95,000 and 122.75 kg meter square. So, this is how the moment of initia of this composite section with respect to the axis AA and the axis BB uh, have been found. And like this way only, uh, most of the moment of initia problem will be asked. But sometimes, in the place of this cylinder, there can be a cavity, a circular hole uh, will be there. In that time, you have to remove that portion and the formula will also be changed in the suppose if there is a hole then it has to be here minus okay so this is the uh, moment of initia problem and almost it is similar to area moment of initia but the only difference is instead of area here we have the mass 
thanks we will meet in the next video where we are going to discuss about the theorem papas galdinus theorem thank you we will meet again